Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have two things that I'm gonna be doing to my 330i. So I don't wanna talk too much about it. It's gonna be a really quick video. So let me show you what I'm gonna be doing. Also, I got new glasses. But anyways, my light is flickering. So I'm sorry if it looks a little flickery. Okay. okay 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 this is what i have here we have a little trunk spoiler and then we have a wing spoiler now both of these weren't that expensive so if i don't like them you know it's not that much of a loss but this is what they are looking like but that's not all i am going to be experimenting with some spray paint so like i said these are not that expensive so hopefully i mean hopefully it works out you know that's always what we want i picked up this bear spray paint this is i think the closest thing that i found to titan silver i do own two titan silver cars and this was fairly cheap i wanted something that i can pick up quick because it is gonna be for my lip so i'm gonna probably have to be retouching it often and this was seven dollars compared to my custom paint which obviously might be a better color match but this was 20 something dollars so hopefully this looks good i'm also gonna be trying out this acrylic crystal clear um, as opposed to this one that I used which is I think like 30 something dollars and this was seven dollars but the thing is that when you end up I think like popping this you have to use it all at once so it ends up going bad so this is seven dollars I'm sorry we see flies starting to get hot so Ugh. also thank you to everybody that always reminds me to post the stuff down below I do tend to forget I'm not trying to gatekeep or anything but <laughs> yeah thank you mm. Before I apply the primer, I did go ahead and apply tape, as you can see, to the bottom. So, I don't know, I thought it might look kind of cool, but this is all going to be painted and then the bottom is going to remain black. If it ends up looking whack, I can always just paint over it. So, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna start off by doing a couple light coats of primer and then I'll go from there. I just finished applying three coats of primer and now I'm gonna go in with the spray paint uh, this is the I think bare um, titanium gloss and it's it says metallic I'm not sure but I did buy this at Home Depot so hopefully it works because I mean you can buy this pretty easily you don't have to buy it online so I like that so let me get started sorry if you can see like little specks like i said earlier it's really windy so uh, the spray the primer was getting on my lens so that's why i just did it off camera but i'll try to show you the whole process either way we've got our first coat it's looking a little shiny but i think it's gonna dry down a bit we've got our second coat here it smells really really bad so i gotta get out of here but i think i'm gonna do two more coats and then i'll show you the end results 
I'm going to be applying the clear coat now and then let it dry. I just finished doing the first coat of the clear coat and this is what it's looking like it smells really really strong so I'm not gonna record I'll just show you the final product and I'll see you guys in a bit it's had some time to dry now and I'm not sure if you can tell but I did kind of mess up in some certain sections I applied a little too much right here and then it's a little bit drippy right here but I think it looks okay nobody should be this close to my car anyway so <laughs> now I'm gonna stick it on This is the next day because I had to give it some time to dry. I suggest you wait maybe like 24 hours or just a really good amount of time because I kind of messed up. I tried to do it right away and I'm not sure if you can see but there's a lot of fingerprints. And then I messed up right here. Sorry about the light, it's kind of annoying, but there's a big drop right here. So a lot of little imperfections. This is probably the biggest one. Um, let's see, let's see. This one I think is the one that has the most fingerprints. So yeah, just give it enough time to dry. But the color's pretty good, to be quite honest with you. I can always just sand it down and repaint it. I just wanted to see what the color was going to look like. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it wasn't too expensive as well. So this one already came with double-sided tape. And I went ahead and applied this one myself so let me show you what the car looks like without it and then we'll get to putting it on so we got no wing here and no wing there and this is what the back looks like like always i will take the car out and show you what it looks like out in the sun but this is just a quick little view Okay. I just got done putting on the wing, but I'm not sure if it's because of the material of the wing. It's kind of like flexy. But my fingerprints are still getting on there. So there is a lot of fingerprints. Or maybe because I added too many layers. I'm not, too, I'm not sure. But I think it looks pretty good aside from the fingerprints. So now I'm going to add this one. Just got done. I'm a little scared to take it out in the sun because obviously the color might change. I ended up adding another strip of double-sided tape because it, it was kind of moving a bit. Also, I do think that I had fingerprints on here 
because of the material because this one doesn't have any fingerprints so that is why i'm gonna take it out now and i'm gonna show you what it looks like further away this is random but i have kind of a tendency of just looking up certain things on offer up and i i've actually been looking for some wheels for my wagon i currently have the style 68 the ones that i had on uh, the 330i i have them on my wagon which i really like but i just seen these which i think is a pretty good deal they're 2500 and they have new tires but this is what I kind of am looking at I'm trying to save money but it's not looking so good you know so <laughs> I don't know I think they would look good though brought the car out in the sunlight to just show you what it looks like let me show you the paint comparison it's really bright so it's a little hard to tell but this does have more specks of some kind you can probably see all the little fingerprints but it is because of the material so I did leave this black and I think it looks kind of cool. I can always paint it if I change my mind, but I didn't want anything too drastic like my other wing. So I think this is a little more sleek. And this is from the side. Now that I get a better look at it in the sun, the paint does look a bit darker. So I think I might just go to my local shop like I did my bumper and just get the actual color. I didn't do that this time because honestly I just wanted something quick and I think these even come uh, with this uh, kind of color but it was going to take about two to three months and I just honestly did not want to wait. But aside from that I think it looks pretty good, pretty decent. It's a little bit shiny, a little bit darker but... If nobody's standing, you know, too close, I don't think you can tell. So that is pretty much it for the video. Really quick video. Let me know what you guys think about the little wingetings. Like I mentioned, I didn't want anything too drastic. Something just more sleek. Um, so that's why I chose those. Might change my mind later on. I'm not too sure. I'm very indecisive, so I mean, it's possible. I am probably going to be changing the color too, but like I mentioned, I really wanted to see the color of the paint. So we'll see. I'll update you guys later on what I decide to do, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will go ahead and link everything down below. Until next time.